The digital computers you have on your desk or in your pocket work on the basis of binary logic. This means that the information in them is encoded in binary numbers, which are numbers that can take one out of two possible values, zero or one. The physical object that carries this binary information is called a bit. In everyday's computers, the bit is represented by the state of a transistor inside a silicon chip. So for example, the zero is represented by a low voltage on the transistor and the one is represented by a high voltage. You can think of the transistor as an electronic switch that selects between two possible values of the voltage. Now let's say I have two bits. I can make four possible combinations of values 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, which are the binary representations of the four numbers from 0 to 3. If I have three bits I can write from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, which are all the numbers from 0 to 7. So with n bits I can write the numbers from 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1. The way digital data is actually processed within a computer is by performing logic operations. The simplest one is on a single bit. It's called the NOT operation and simply flips the value of the bit. 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. With two bits I can do, for example, the AND operation. This is the operation that returns 1 if both inputs are 1. One can show that the negative AND gate, which is the AND gate followed by a NOT, is a universal logic gate. Any binary logic operation can be broken down into a sequence of NAND gates. Modern computers contain over a billion tiny silicon transistors connected in a way that allows a programmer to decide which sequence of logic operations takes place. They allow us to search the web, play games, prepare documents and perform very complex calculations. But there are certain calculations that not even the most powerful supercomputer can tackle, such as finding the prime factors of large numbers, designing molecules and materials, or finding the shortest path between many cities. For that, we need a quantum computer.